So in this video, I'll show you how we can use ChatGPT to develop a qualitative interview guide. And I'll focus on two aspects, two ways in which we can use this tool. The first one uh, are the prompts that we can insert and input into ChatGPT so that it gives us suggestions for many, many interesting questions that we can ask during the interview. And the second way is to use it to direct us, point us towards theories, psychological theories uh, that, will, uh, that we can draw from when developing the interview questions. Theories that will m uh, help us ensure uh, that our participants are fully engaged cognitively and will basically facilitate their recall. So will uh, help us make sure that they remember everything that we need to remember. In this, uh, again, ChatGPT can be an absolutely brilliant tool. It will save us so much time. I'll show you how. Uh, importantly, uh, I need to stress, and I've said that before, that I do not and I never uh, encouraged over relying on ChatGPT. I never suggested that we should use it to write our dissertation or to completely solve our problem uh, problems either by doing our full analysis for us or developing our interview guide. However, I don't see anything at all wrong in using this tool, this available, freely available tool uh, to take our interview guide higher, a level higher to make it even more professional, to, like I said, help us make sure that we're drawing from theories to, uh, to strengthen our approach. So it's an absolutely amazing tool. So let's just quickly see how we can use it uh, to develop an interview guide. So let's just start. Uh, let's imagine we're doing this hypothetical study. As always, our study will be exploring the experiences of nurses during the pandemic. So we want to know their experiences. Specifically, we want to know their various challenges and negative experiences they faced. And we want to know how they overcome, how they manage to overcome uh, these experiences. So that's that's going to be our focus. Now, how can we use ChatGPT? How can we get started? Uh, of course, we can just uh, let it decide basically how to organize our interview guide. You can easily do that. You can just ask it to develop an interview guide, give it a general description of the aims of the study and see what happens. So let's just try to do it first and see what it gives us. So I do have this uh, Chrome extension that will uh, enable me to just use the microphone so I don't have to type. So so I'm just uh, going to insert the first prompt to ChatGPT. I'm working on a qualitative study exploring the experiences of nurses during the pandemic. I want to know what barriers they faced and how they managed to overcome these barriers. I want you to develop an interview guide that will help me explore these experiences and answer these questions. Let's see what it gives us. So this is a very open approach where uh, where I just basically, as you see, uh, told ChatGPT what I'm working on and, and I just kind of let it develop the whole, uh, the whole interview guide. This is just for the purpose of presentation. I don't really like it and it's never going to get this right because it will come up with lots of things and I may not necessarily need a lot of these things in my study. Although what is nice is that it gives you introduction and kind of structure, but it's nowhere near detailed enough at the moment. Uh, also, it tends to be different from one day to, an to another. I tried it before and it gave me a very detailed interview guide. But again, not all the questions were what I actually wanted to ask. Now, so how do we want to use ChatGPT? Ideally, if you watch my previous videos when I talk about developing an interview guide, if you haven't, uh, please watch it now or after this video. I talk uh, a lot about the logic and the approach for how to develop questions, how to start doing, doing that. You have to understand that logic and then you can fully utilize ChatGPT. But in short, I always explain that I start with the key questions that I want to uh, answer in my study, such as here, for example, what are barriers that nurses face during the pandemic, as well as how do they overcome these barriers? I start with these two questions. I put them on a piece of paper or Microsoft Word, and then I usually build around these questions by brainstorming everything, every possible question that comes to mind, uh, uh, that can help me get some insight into these two questions. So that's usually my approach. And and this is what I suggest doing and how I, uh, I'm planning to use ChatGPT because there is always a limit to how many ideas 
you can have. Same way as there is always a limit to how many uh, ways to categorize themes you have. So I showed in my uh, thematic analysis video uh, using ChatGPT that it can be a brilliant tool for developing groups of sub themes, for example, because I've, I've worked on literally hundreds of different data sets and there is a limit. So eventually some of my ideas over, for grouping will be similar. ChatGPT helps me overcome that barrier and same here, it can be a brilliant thing for just brainstorming all these questions. So let's just try to do it now. So one question at a time, I'll just first instruct it to, let's just focus on the first question that I mentioned, so the barriers that they face. Now I would like you to come up with as many questions as possible that will help me answer the question about barriers that nurses face during the pandemic. I want you to generate a large number of ideas taken into account that some participants may struggle to remember some experiences that I'm asking about. So it is important to ask about these experiences from different perspectives. Let's see what it does. That's quite a long prompt, but you know, ChatGPT, you have to be pretty uh, detailed and specific when you're asking it for things. So let's see what it gives us. So, so now I specifically asked for these different ideas. And this is basically what I, again, want to stress, how I want you to encourage to use ChatGPT. Brainstorming things. Uh, I would even say initially start with your own ideas and then add these ideas and then take all of that stuff and start really digging and start trying to uh, to maybe pick the ones that you like most. Again, very important that you watch that video about developing an interview guide so you understand my approach. Here, as you can see, it did, again, come up with lots of different things. It, it introduced some grouping that is nice, but not necessarily something we need because then if I, I would have to justify why I'm specifically focusing on work-life balance, training and preparedness physical and mental health and, and all that. It, it looks good, but if you're doing research, you'd have to really justify that. I have no idea why it chose to do this. I'm guessing it could be based on some findings from, you know, that it found online, but I'm not sure. Again, I would, rather than following this structure, I would take some of these ideas uh, and then just add it to my brainstorming session. You can also, obviously you can ask about, you know, the reason for these uh, different groups. And uh, you can choose one group and ask it to develop it more. So maybe you just want to mainly talk about physical and mental health. You can then instruct ChatGPT to just develop a group of questions about physical and mental health a little bit further. What I want to focus on now, however, uh, is something else. So when developing interview questions, again, I, I said that in that video and also another video in which I talk about cognitive interviewing. So I talked about this, this approach. It's based on uh, these theories. It's also based on how uh, the police interrogate uh, suspects. So, so basically, and it draws from these psychological theories. The whole point is that it uh, it helps the participants get engaged cognitively, uh, so that they remember things. As I said in in several videos before, they don't always not tell you things because they don't want to. Very often, they just can't remember. So, your role as the interviewer is to make them remember, to help them remember. Uh, and finally, uh, I, I spent so much time thinking about these different approaches and eventually developing this approach based on cognitive interviewing. For ChatGPT, again, it's just a matter of seconds, and you can ask it to, to come up with some ideas, to give you some ideas and, and uh, draw from some theories from the literature, from psychology, from various fields when developing an interview question. So that's what we'll do now. Now I would like you to draw from psychological theories when developing the interview questions and explain to me what theories you are drawing from and how they are useful and relevant for our interview and how they will help us ensure that the participants remember things we want them to remember. See what it does. Is given us some theories. Some of them won't be relevant or necessary, so so it really depends. Uh, as always, it can be so random. It can be so random because yesterday I kind of tested it, uh, and it's 
uh, the theories it gave me were completely different, but still some of them, probably half of them were pretty, uh, pretty important and pretty interesting. So as you can see now, memory retrieval theory, that's, that's kind of the thing I, I really wanted to see. Uh, but it focused on, I guess it tackled it from different perspective. Uh, let's see, it's uh, theory, resilience theory. It's interesting. I can ask it to take any of these theories and develop it further, for example, or let's uh, ask it about the like cognitive, can't remember what it's called, cognitive theory perhaps, so that's what I'll do. There is a theory about cognitive retrieval of information and cognitive interviewing technique is based on that theory. Can you tell me more and give me m some suggestions of questions based on that theory? Because that's what I wanted to come up with. Uh, cognitive interviewing technique, so it's, it's teaching me about that. It's gonna give me some probably interesting ideas. So, and this is a brilliant part because like I said, as, as a PhD student, I really spend a lot of time working on, the, on this stuff. So again, you will be working on this stuff. You're not asking ChatGPT to fully conduct, do this work for you, but it will point you in the right direction. You can ask it quickly, you know, ask it for things and for suggestions. So, uh, so this is how it's such an amazing tool. Normally you would be likely to, to overlook some of these things. So you can really take it to another level, as I said before. And I really love some of the uh, the things, especially based on the cognitive interviewing uh, approach. So some of these questions, because uh, all all it, all it is is really focusing on on very detailed aspects of the experience. So as you can see here, can you walk me through the the last hour of a memorable shift? I absolutely love this. Uh, by itself, if you just follow the, the initial approach that I showed you, so the the one where you basically just just let it develop your interview guide. The questions uh, will be okay, but they will never be that great because it's it, they will always be pretty basic and lacking something. It's like that art generated by AI. If you look at the peoples and especially children for some reason, uh, their faces, uh, they are kind of creepy and, and soulless. So uh, it's never the same as actual art. And same here, it will be kind of okay uh, theoretically, but it's just lacking something if you just ask it to, to come up with questions. If you're more specific, if you're kind of digging deeper, exploring, and then coming back to ChatGPT with ideas, as you can see, it can do an absolutely brilliant job. And I absolutely love some of these questions. So this was how you can use ChatGPT for developing an interview guide. I'm sure there are many other ways in which you can do it. Feel free to share uh, these ways in the comments. Tell me if you've tried doing that. What else have you used ChatGPT for in your study? I'd, I'd be interested to hear about your experiences. Like the video if you learned something new and I highly recommend that you watch this video in which I talk about the logic of interviewing and developing an interview guide. As I said, if you watch that video and then come back to ChatGPT, I'm sure you'll have some really good ideas for how to develop your interview questions.